Hey guys, Mike here. So today, I'm here to talk to you about Knives Out. In this review, I'll be going over a brief summary of the plot, my quick thoughts about the film, and whether or not you guys should go and see it. So I'm going to try and keep this review spoiler free. However, if you don't know anything about the film, and you want to go in completely blind, then it's just going to this video once you've seen the film. So with that, let's get started, shall we? What is this? CSI KFC? <laughs> So Knives Out has a star-studded cast that includes Anna de Armas, Chris Evans, Daniel Craig, and Christopher Plummer, to name a few. In Knives Out, Harlan Thrombray, who is one of the world's most famous murder mystery novelists, has recently died, and the police suspect that one of his family members was the one who killed him. So they have to interview each one of the family members to find out where they were on the night of the incident, and who actually probably did this. And so we have Knives Out. So, going into this one, I didn't really know what to expect because all I really knew about it was that it was a murder mystery story. So this movie could be completely predictable and just completely backfire on itself, or it could really keep you guessing and you just don't know what's going to come next. And thankfully, I had to say that this movie honestly really does keep you guessing. Because right from the get-go, I was really intrigued to see what would happen next. All the characters are really interested and engaging and it really makes you want to find out more about them and where they were on the night. But honestly, I must admit that the thing that made me think that this movie wasn't going to be so good was hearing Daniel Craig's character speak for the first time. Because I didn't watch the trailers for this one, so I had no idea what he or really anyone sounded like in this movie. And then when he spoke, my god, it was just like hearing Foghorn Leghorn from Looney Tunes. And I just burst out laughing because I was just like, no, he cannot be serious with this accent right now. But you know what, I have to admit that as the movie went on, he just really grew on me, he was just really interesting, and I just really hung on every word he said. He was quite charismatic, he was funny, and he just really played the part really well. And honestly, I was really happy that characters in the movie pointed out that he does in fact sound like Foghorn Leghorn. Now, with a star-studded cast that has quite a few seasoned actors, It'd be quite easy for the younger actors to kind of fall behind or not be as interesting or not get as much screen time. Having said that though, I really think that Anna de Armas, even though she is pretty much, I'd say, the lead of the movie, she really is like probably one of the best ones in this movie. I thought she was a really sympathetic character and I just really liked everything about her. She was quite interesting, she played the part really well, and she was definitely one of the best parts about the movie. And also, like I mentioned, this movie does include Chris Evans. And the fact we didn't really see him much at the start of the movie really made me think that they were going to waste Chris Evans in this movie. But thankfully, like in Bad Times of the El Royale, they did not waste their Avenger. I mean, this character is so completely different to Captain America, it's unreal. It just really goes to show that Chris Evans is not just Captain America, and that he's just a well-rounded, really good actor. And this movie definitely shows that off. Because like pretty much everyone else in the movie, Chris Evans really holds your attention, and he's really charismatic, he's really charming, and he's quite funny as well, much like this movie as a whole. And honestly, that's something I didn't expect from this movie, how funny it was. Not to say that it's, you know, a full-blown comedy where it's like jokes every two minutes or something like that. But when they do go for a joke, it lands, and it's just really funny. And like I said before, a good murder mystery needs to keep you guessing. And honestly, just when I thought I had this movie figured out, the movie does a complete left turn, and then you just don't know what to do with yourself. And I'd say one of the biggest surprises about this movie was the fact that it was written and directed by Ryan Johnson, the guy who directed Star Wars The Last Jedi, probably one of the worst movies I've ever seen in my entire life. Now, honestly, even though I hated that movie, I don't think it's fair to give, you know, 100% of the blame because, you know, you're picking up from what J.J. Abrams left him, you don't know how much of the script he actually wrote, you don't know how much creative control he had, but nevertheless, he still directed one of the worst, if not the worst, Star Wars movie ever made. And if I probably knew that he was writing and directing this movie before going into it, it might have changed my opinion of it going into it. But thankfully, I didn't know that it was him. And honestly, he's won a bit of brownie points in my eyes, the fact that he's made such a really well-made movie. Does it redeem the mess that was The Last Jedi? No, it doesn't. Has he made a really good movie? Yes, he has. So, you know, good for you, Ryan Johnson. Though I'd say another good thing about this movie is honestly how it ended. Because though it does have quite a definitive ending, it did kind of leave it somewhat open-ended, and it did leave it a bit open for speculation. And again, that's another good thing about this movie. You can really speculate about everything that happens within the movie. Because honestly, I've been thinking about this movie a lot, and there are certain things where I just go back and think, oh, maybe if that person didn't do that, they wouldn't be able to do this, but then, no, actually, that does make sense, because the reason they did that was so the other person could do that. It was just loads of things like that that just made me keep thinking about this movie. 
Overall, guys, I enjoyed this movie a lot more than I thought I would. Not to say that I wasn't going to enjoy it, but you know what? It definitely surprised me. The cast were phenomenal, the pacing was excellent, and this was just a really well-made movie. But now, as for whether or not, you guys should go and see it. I would definitely recommend that you should go see this movie. Definitely go see it in the pictures, because... Not necessarily because that anything's enhanced by being on the big screen, but just because of the sheer quality of this movie, you should definitely go out and support it. Even if you probably vowed to never see anything that Ryan Johnson did ever again, I'd say, you know what, suck it up. This is a really good movie that he's made, so you know what, good job. Okay, guys, that's my review of Knives Out. If you've seen it, what did you think about it? And what's your favourite murder mystery? Whatever it is, drop it in the comments below. And until next time, I've been Michael. See ya!